Hello, beautiful Cancer friends. How are you? Welcome to my channel, The Intuitive Teacup. So happy to have all the Cancers with me. Hope you guys are doing well. We are going to do your February uh, general tarot spread here. So as always, guys, you, you crabby folk know, uh, these are general readings. That means not everything I say will resonate with all the Cancers out there. However you associate with that, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, all are welcome. What up, Cross Watchers? I see you. <laughs> All the cancers are like, oh, good. Oh, good. I want some cross watchers. No, I'm just kidding. Anyway, yes, general messages. So that means that it is up to you guys to come into this reading with an open heart and an open mind and ultimately to take away only the messages that speak to you in some capacity. If it fits your circumstance or scenario, if it gives you some sort of empowerment or motivation or confirmation, take it and run with it. That means it was your message. If these messages are confusing you, if you don't relate to them, drop it like it's hot. It's probably not your energy. It probably means I'm picking up on someone else's energy, in which case you can go about your merry way, Cancer. Um, unfortunately, it won't always be your message, but very likely pieces and parts of this will resonate for you. But again, not all of it. If all of it does, great. That's fantastic. That means I was tuned into only your energy, which occasionally happens, but we're going for generals. We're going for generals. So everything else about this video is written in the description box below, including the decks I'm using here today, as well as my social media channels. I'm the Intuitive Teacup on Facebook, Instagram, and .com. Check out my website if you want to learn more about me, about my tarot journey. Other than that, we're going to hop in for my beautiful cancer friends. Cancer, cancer, cancer. General messages, roughly February 2020. But energy is free-flowing. You all know that, right? All right. Hard to put a fixed start and end date on, on the energies in a tarot reading. But roughly, cancers, February 2020. <clears throat> I'm using lots of decks this time, so you're just going to have to give me one, one more round of shuffles, and then we'll get going for you. <clears throat> one more card. For cancer, for cancer. <clears throat> All right. Cancer, February 2020. <clears throat> February 2020 for cancer, for cancer. Whoa, that came flying out. February 2020 for cancer. All right. One last deck. We're almost there. You got High Priestess bottom of your deck, Cancer. You're going to be okay. You know what's up. That's what the High Priestess says to me. Um, potentially something involving a Virgo, an offer involving a Virgo. Um, it may be a job offer. It could be a romantic offer. We'll, we'll, we'll take a peek. Or some of you could be going into like hermit mode, going on some sort of spiritual journey. And, you know, it doesn't have to be literal travel, but doing something independently to work on yourself, to build on your body, your career. <clears throat> To find God, I just heard. <laughs> Crisis of faith, maybe, for some of the cancers out there. All right, let's hop in. Good Lord, that was a lot of shuffling. Thanks for, thanks for sticking with me as we're three minutes in. All right, cancer, your energy is presenting as the hanged man, the eight of pentacles, and the ace of cups. So yeah, a lot of you are trying to keep your nose to the grindstone, um, really keep yourself engulfed and enveloped in work. Um, like, yeah, nose to the grindstone. This is my work, work, work card, apprenticeship, artisan. And I mean, if even if you've been at a job for some amount of time, and with this card, you may have been, it's possible. You're waiting for some sort of transition, and a lot of you have your eyes on the prize. This is actually a really cool message. I think you guys have come to expect and understand that there will be delays. It's like if, if you really want something great, it's not going to happen overnight. It's not going to be the Cinderella story. So a lot of my cancers are, again, focusing their, their minds, their efforts, their energy on, on building on that seed, on building on that foundation they have because they know that there's something greater in their life that is trying to come into them that is going to make them happy, that's going to bring them joy. Cups in, a, in, a, um, in any sort of spread can also indicate money flow, too, if we think of money as a currency. So yeah, it's like your goal is a, it is presenting as an ace. So it's like your, your goal is potentially starting a brand new in, in some arena that, that uh, you know, is more in tune with what your heart wants, is more in tune with what, you know, something that emotionally is going to make you happy. Or again, some sort of well of, uh, well, W-E-L-L -L of wealth, W-E-L-A-W-E-A-L-T-H, well of wealth is what I'm hearing. So tapping into some sort of, and I mean, this could involve meditation too, um, talking to your spirit guides as the hangman does. 
um, upside down, trying to get a different perspective. What's really interesting about this hangman card, though, is that he's not assessing the world around him. To, in the traditional hangman, it's like gathering your perspective by seeing the world upside down from a, a new viewpoint illuminates you, right? The crown of illumination. This hangman is quite different, and that's sort of what was underscoring this to me. It's like nose to the grindstone. I'm not going to listen to outsiders' opinions or like the peanut gallery, people who are trying to like rain on your parade or or offer you insight or this or that, but it's just not really helpful. It's like you, you my, most of my cancers resonating with this are extremely determined and there's, there's no compromise. And that's not bad here. It's like, you know what you want. And I think you've realized that if you want to go after it, listening to those around you is not really serving you in this capacity. If you want to transform into the butterfly, right? If this is the cocoon, you understand it's like you have to will yourself to do it. Someone can't make the, the, the worm turn into a butterfly. It's, it's like an internal, I heard internal battle. So with that, it doesn't come easily, right? Again, there, there's something about, there's a lot of work involved, whether it's physically demanding or, or spiritually demanding. Maybe it's taking a toll on your emotions because you just want to get to that sweet spot. You just want to get that new job. You just want to find that new love. But because it is presenting as work being done with pentacles in the 3D, this says to me you're being very logical, you're being very grounded, you're being very practical. Practical is, is like the main term coming through and patient. Sometimes I see this card as very um, like opposition, like, you know, the universe is trying to give you blessings and you're blocking it out and being like a little brat. I'm actually not getting that with this card. To me, it's again, the I, I wanted to highlight listening to those around you, at least in the month of, of February, may not actually uncover that secret truth or, or get you to the ace faster, right? It, I think you guys already know what it takes. And, and yeah, with temperance coming up, balance just be real patient take care of you you should be your main priority right now because in that is a victory yeah and so whatever you're trying to manifest in aquarius season um, which is going to go into the middle of february then we're into pisces season whatever you work on now um that it's like it's building it's building the foundation that is going to launch you in your career or in your love life in into late february um you and yeah there you are again so you have the high priestess twice yeah keep working on that seed that pentacle because it's growing even if you don't realize it with earth energy it moves painfully slow but it is growing so this doesn't feel totally new it feels like you're trying to get to the next level of something it feels like there's something you've been working on for quite some time right that's going to mean something different to everyone but yeah you again something about the internal you don't need to be messaging about this with a million people you don't need to be asking or, or getting unsolicited advice or people commenting on this or that and sometimes people will do that but it's up to you to not be the sponge do you know what i mean like you you have the power to absorb the water the feelings the emotion emotions the the spiritual messages or not to be like Thanks, I'm good. That's what this is saying to me. This is like the thanks, I'm good, like mind your own business. And Cancer, knowing you, you would find a very kind way to say this, but look at you, protecting your energy. It's like, this is your, your well of joy, your well of happiness, your well of wealth, as I was saying, money. You're not letting anybody touch it. You're keeping it very close to your heart. You're keeping it, um, yeah, close to your person, as they say. <clears throat> and, and I think that's why it's presenting as the hermit, uh, particularly in issues regarding money and creature comforts. Some of you are absolutely working on increasing your money flow, your monthly income, your bank account, your long-term career goals. It's, it feels like you guys have finally seen the light and recognized it could be something like no one's going to pay me what I'm worth or no one is going to recognize the skills and talents I have. So like... F y'all, I'm doing it on my own. Like hermit mode, I'm gonna do it myself. Multiple cards of, of Virgo and independent, like single, however you wanna say it, it's like, watch me, I'm, I'm gonna do it. And, and this could also represent feeling ignored. It's like when you've tried to voice your, or speak your truth, voice your opinions, something about implement changes in the world and in, in the workspace and your love life, it feels like other people have shut you out and, and ignored you. But it's interesting, it's like when you start rising above, when you start, start like raising your vibration, other people see that and they wanna ride your coattails. That's actually a really funny message. Cancer. Yeah, whatever this is that you're working on, if any of this is resonating, keep doing that because you have multiple cards indicating like, yeah, it's, it's coming in for you. 
the angel of love is blessing this, is overseeing it, is guiding it, right? There's, there's sunshine, there's light at the end of the tunnel, happiness, joy, renewal. Again, that seed that you're trying to capitalize, it's growing. It, it's not even that it's going to grow, it's growing. It, it's showing up as eight of pentacles and then you have the nine. So rest assured, whatever you're doing, particularly with your home, your job, your finances, your career, your body, if, if you know, new year, new me type energy, Things are changing, so don't give up. Don't throw in the towel yet. Um, yeah, keep manifesting, especially in Aquarius season, which is all about the zoom out, right? Like the, um, the wider, the greater perspective. The North Star that is guiding you. I always, I always sort of equate these two cards. It starts off in your lantern as just the spark of an idea. The magician, right? Manifestation. The spark, the inception of the idea. You start following that path and it's dark. You don't know all the answers yet. You got it in your lantern. All of a sudden it becomes your north star in the sky and you have like a million other ideas. Something about this one idea, it spawns lots of offshoots. It spawns lots of other ideas that, that are helping to guide you. And, and again, something with the water, it's very much money flow energy. Um, and let's just be real, like, right, with these cards, I'm not saying those looking for love aren't going to find it, but this is indicating, like, um, one independence. So, you know, usually usually a love relationship involves two, but love yourself, right? Like, that, that's going to yield better results for you. <clears throat> you may also, okay, you have double high priestess. If you are looking for love, I would bet on a cancer. Um, or at least mingling with a cancer may it may even be like a, i gotta be honest like a business partnership um so for major arcana right now you have aquarius you have sagittarius you have virgo and you have double cancer and obviously one or both of these is you cancer so you may have a cancer sun and a cancer rising or something like that too all right let's hop into your challenger focus this is going to be the longest video ever <laughs> sorry guys i just get so excited to read for cancer yeah, I love this. So you guys are going after and exploring something beyond the comfort zone, beyond your Eight of Cups. In this card, it's called Departure. Eight of Cups is a card of strength, of bravery. It's actually come up for a few of my other readings um, in, in February. It's recognizing that the cups you have in your life, the avenues that offer you emotional fulfillment, they're not bad, but they're not what they used to be. It's like you've tapped the well. It's something about the well of wealth. I keep hearing that, and I mean, I'm, I'm almost certain it has to do with building your career. This is not being afraid to go explore and go into new territories where maybe you're out of your element a little bit. Um, pages can be children or students. So it's the idea of, I don't know exactly where I'm going, but I, I'm willing to learn. I'm willing to almost be a little bit vulnerable and put myself out there and say, you know, I don't know everything about this, but I'd really like to learn. Rather than coming in and feeling like you have to be all buttoned up and be the expert in this field, you don't. You absolutely don't. Because you're willing to work at it. There's commitment to the task at hand here. There's some song that's trying to come through. I don't know where I'm going, but I'll f we'll find out when we get there. Is that like a Back to the Future thing? I don't know what that is, but there's some, there's some pop culture reference. I'm, I'm dancing around there. Anyway, you also have self-care and then the student of, I'm sorry, I said the student, literally a student for most of you, uh, the page of swords. So again, the seeking of knowledge, childlike innocence. It's again, being able to explore, discover be, and discover new things because you're excited, um, because they intrigue you, because they motivate you. But also there's a lot to be learned here, right? Swords being our, our mind, our information, the knowledge, the intellect behind it. It's something that is potentially creative, uh, creatively nurturing or again, just drives your passion. But it's also something, again, you're willing to hit the books and commit to. It's not just like this fly by night, like, oh, like maybe I'll try cooking for a week or maybe I'll try, you know, exploring some new talent. Maybe I'll bungee jump or what. It seems like it's something that you have your eyes on the prize in terms of its longevity. Again, yeah, it's not just like this rando, like, yeah, I'm just going to take like, you know, sewing class for a week and then get bored and quit, which is not a cancer trait anyway. You guys very much like when there's something you like, you, you know, the Krabby Claws, right? You, you grab onto it and you hold on and really like, it's like emotionally you need to absorb everything that that thing or that person has to offer before you move on to the next one. Um, so with that, something about don't drown yourself. Don't get so overwhelmed with all the knowledge you have to collect. Like bit by bit, piece by piece, again, you, you will absorb what is necessary to exceed, or I'm sorry, to succeed in this career. And I, I'm, if something about love comes through, you guys know, I will absolutely read it, but this feels like you're changing careers or taking additional classes, getting a certificate in something to like, um, 
I heard puff up your feathers, uh, but I, I think that has to do with um, make your resume even beefier, juicier, that, that kind of like, um, oh, what is, what is a good word for it? Um, it's something about making your resume or your background, your history more advantageous so that whatever it is you're hoping to accomplish by leaving the comfort zone, it's like when you finally do, I think you want it to take off with flying colors. You want there to be, it's like you want there to be an assured victory. So you're not just doing this scatterbrained or haphazardly, as I was saying, you're doing it because you have, you have long-term goals in mind. And for a lot of you, money is tight. Money, you're, you're struggling a little bit. And so it's this determination again of I, this isn't going to be my story anymore. I'm not going to be like struggling to, to pay bills or make rent or whatever every week. It's like, no, like, I love this and I'm willing to commit to it. So universe, help me out here, baby. Like that, that's very much the, uh, the, the message here. So then self-care, I instantly want to pair it with these. These are both cards of healing and taking care of your body. So yeah, that's going to be very important for some of you. As determined as you are, as hell-bent as you are of working, you know, I don't know, 15-hour days or this and that, this is warning you and it is coming up as your challenge or focus. If you don't take care of your body, right, your body is your temple, your work will suffer. So equilibrium, right, equal flow into the cup and out of the cup. If you're turning out hours that you can't possibly be consistent with or keep up with, you got to reel it back a little bit, Cancer, because self-care, and I am getting specifically your body, you are going to wear yourself out. You're going to be exhausted, right? You're going to be falling asleep at work. And especially if this is like a side job you do between like your, your main hustle, <laughs> if this is your side piece job, I like putting it in those terms, it's saying like you're, you're going to fall asleep on the job where it's like you need that because it pays you more or it has, you know, it has the health benefits, whatever. Make sure you're not burning the candle at both ends. That's going to be important. Or it's going to impact the longevity or at least the speed at which this, this like new endeavor that you're holding so close to your heart, this dream, this wish that you want, it's going to impact that negatively. So again, like word to the wise, it is coming up as your challenge or focus. Diet, or, or I, and I don't even want to say it like that. Eat healthy, eat correctly, get enough sleep, um, you know, make sure you're exercising a little bit. Whatever you do to like get into your like inner Zen place, you know, yoga, meditation, going for a jog, going for a swim, whatever that is, that is going to be just as important, if not more important, than, than spending tons of hours perfecting your skill. There is something about receiving a lot of messages from source and communication at this time, especially in Aquarius season. Those major downloads may actually be just as valuable as opening a book and reading up about what you want to do. So yeah, don't um, minimize the importance of like going out into nature and just spending time in your happy place. Um, both, both in these cards, there's a foot in the pool of water and the pool of intuition, double high priestess energy, double cancer energy, spirit, source, messages. Again, the zoom out, something greater is, is looking over you, this, this spiritual journey, this path towards your dream career, your dream partnership, whatever it is. It's being blessed by something greater. Your guardian angels are watching over this. And, and again, this is nudging you to take care of your health and your body. Because, yeah, there, there's definitely some things going on that excite you, that you're intrigued, you're passionate about. But it's almost like don't lose sight of the goal at hand. There's something very dreamlike here, but I am almost getting if you're cranking out so much stuff and you're exhausted, it's like you're going to be dreaming during times in which you actually need to be really focused, if that makes sense. So, again, balance, moderation. So what is coming up as the help available to my cancers? Oh, I see the Knight of Cups. What's up? Okay. So you have the Empress, the Six of Cups, Compassion, Unexpected Income. Hello. And Spirituality, the Knight of Cups. Some of you are going to visit your family, um, spending time with your family and talking about memories. And it sort of has to do with what made your inner child happy. Some of you are pursuing careers where you're working with animals. Or you're going home, oh, it's something like going home, whatever that is to you, you know, mom, dad, uncle, aunt, brother, sister, and visiting, I, it is either like a child or, or an animal where through the years it's like you haven't been home in so long, or in metaphor, right, you go home, you're like, oh my God, they're huge, or something like that, you know, you go home and you visit your nephew who, who you thought was like this tall, and all of a sudden, it's something like that, and it's, it's speaking about the importance of the passing of time and revisiting 
important relationships that maybe you've put on the back burner because you've been working too hard, you may be isolating yourself a little bit. And and it's not bad. I, I it's Yes, part of it is protecting your energy because I think there's kind of like this secret project and you don't want anyone to taint the waters. You don't want anyone to poison the well or, or put some sort of idea in your mind that is fear-based of, you know, well, have you thought about this? That doesn't seem very logical. I think you are shielding that out, but with that, you've been extremely protective of your energy and, and yeah, isolation. And it doesn't come from a malicious place. It's protecting your energy, but there is something about the help available to you, particularly my cancers who are close to their mother. There's something about revisiting your childhood home or, or going through a scrapbook, looking at childhood memories. It's, it has to do with the passing of time. And also I, I, I do keep getting hits about some something or some object when you were a kid you used to climb on that rock and it seems huge oh okay that's that's exactly what it is and then you visit it again as an adult and you're like this thing used to seem like a mountain to me and it's just like a stepping stone it has to okay and this guys this is incredible this is saying when you put your energy into something you love the time flies by and it doesn't feel like work. It also indicates when you are not solely focused on the results, the outcome, the due date, the finish line, things progress in a natural way that when you look back, it will blow your mind. So if there's some sort of skill or hobby that you're trying to make your, your main business, you're trying to invest all your time and energy in, make sure you're enjoying it along the way and having fun doing it because something about that will yield results faster and you won't be so frustrated when there are minor setbacks or, or obstacles because when you give it time, you will able, be able to look back and like fondly think, oh my gosh, remember when I, I don't know, when I bought my first cooking tools and now I, I have my own kitchen in this amazing restaurant, you know, in this five-star restaurant or something like that, you know, my tarot readers. Remember when I bought my first tarot deck, when I was, you know, researching what does the magician mean and how does that relate to my life? And now I have 50 tarot decks and I'm, I'm a professional tarot. Like, do you understand what I'm saying? Just giving an example there, but... It's something like as long as you are aligning with your heart space, nights always bring change, movement, and progress into our life. So without being a hype man, this is almost a guaranteed victory of success. But again, it's presenting as earth energy. So if your money's tight, if you're struggling, you know, keep, keep being logical in terms of spending your time where you need to to keep yourself afloat. There's lots of water metaphors here. But bringing this seed into something greater to continue to work on this labor of love. That is a great metaphor, a great, great, um, you know, uh, phrase, labor of love. It will grow. It will grow slowly but surely. So you have three pages here. That's important to note. Whenever we have three of, of any sort of court card, it's, it's good to look at what's missing. So what's missing here is the page of cups, right? And that's your element. So doing the work, having the passion, seeking the knowledge, making sure your heart space is aligned with it. And what's kind of interesting is we skip over the page entirely. Oh, some of you might be working with children as well, helping children or, or be it maybe if you're opening some sort of business where there's multiple people involved. And I don't think for that's for most of you, but this could represent clients trying to learn something from you or vendors reaching out to you because they, they want they want some of what you're offering, Cancer. That sounds kind of sexy. I mean, it could be. It could be potential romantic suitors. But if that's the case, they're very immature. So I would, eh, meh. I don't think that's what my Cancers want, really. Anyway, what's interesting is we're skipping over the page of water entirely. And, but we have the Knight of Cups. So actually what this is saying to me, it's not so much is your heart in it. We know your heart's in it because your heart is winning the race. If all these pages are, are equal competitors, right? And they're all on your team. They're all internal, right? If all these pages exist and this, this Knight exists within you, the one who's winning the race, the one who's leading the charge is the one who's looking out for what makes you happy. The one who's asking, is my heart in alignment with this? This says to me, yes, your heart is winning the race. So again, just be cognizant of the money issues regarding it, as well as health and your body. That's huge. It's like you're, you're presenting as a page, so you're still learning about that balance, that equilibrium of how much time you can devote to this labor of love. Also, the passion, it may involve travel too and some sort of risk going going where no man has ever gone before. That's sort of what I'm getting, the explorer. I think you're excited about it, but there might be something that, again, you're out of your element or it gives you a little bit of pause or a little bit of anxiety, don't let it. 
as long as you research the facts, um, as long as you have the information that's available, study up on it so that will make you more confident as you go exploring down these, these new avenues. <coughs> Excuse me. So yeah, some of you, especially from a sibling, you're going to get messages of support of, um, it's not so much guidance, it's something about someone in your family who, again, you maybe were being very secretive about this, this skill or hobby, whatever. Um, these, it could be a love relationship. You're not, you know, being public about it yet. I don't think that's for most of you, but there's something about this. You go home and somebody offers you, they offer you like love or, or they're like your cheerleader. They're like your soul tribe looking out for you. Some of you are involved in a career that, that is very um, humanitarian, offering passion, um, offering wisdom, insight, love to those around you. So what, again, whatever your if business is rooted in, if it's not creativity, it could be very spiritual, offering spiritual guidance or, or even just the idea of sharing your story, sharing your story or making stories, you know, writing books, making movies, this or that to offer compassion to like the underdog or people who need to hear it the most. And what's really beautiful about this is that for those struggling with this idea of, I, I want to do this work that is very, again, humanitarian, compassion-based, showing people love who didn't have it before. Some of you are, are ambivalent of, is it okay to make that a career? And this suggests to me that I think some of you guys reconcile those feelings of, of not making it feel icky that you're asking or you're charging for your services, right? It's like you are an earth angel. You are meant to, to do this, this skill, this hobby in this lifetime, though we may have many lifetimes. That it, Yeah, it's like universe wants to back you. Universe wants to support you. And, and we started this thing with, with saying like, you guys are devoted as hell. So you're kind of like, universe, show me the money because I'm here. I'm showing up. I'm doing the work. Like, I'm not settling at some like wishy-washy job that, that doesn't bring me happiness. Like you're putting your best foot forward, right? In love, no less, in water, in, in yeah, psychic ability type, uh, yeah, bigger, larger thinking, important, like nurturing, kind, compassion, energy. It's all, and that also directs me back to this. Make sure you are feeding yourself, right? Make sure you are drinking the water, the self-love so that you can also give it to other people. It's almost like make sure you unplug or, or I'll say it like this, make sure you recharge your battery because if your job is very emotionally draining, again, something about you need to be consistent with it and keep up your, again, your, your work-life balance for back of, lack of a better term. If you don't take care of yourself, you're not gonna be able to go out and save the world cancer, right? That's such a, that's such a cancer thing. I love it, I love you guys. But yeah, this is saying everything in moderation including moderation. Charlie Sheen said that. Maybe don't take his advice. I don't think that worked out for him. Everything in moderation. And yeah, there's the, the help available to you is, I mean, I don't know why this wouldn't be helpful. Unexpected income. There's going to be a shiny coin dropped in your pocket sometime in February. It might not be a thousand dollars, right? It might not be a million dollars, but yeah, you, you may get, someone may reach out to you or, or offer you. If I don't know if you're selling something out in public, you may put out a tip jar, right? I mean, again, if, if you ask for it, if you ask for it, the universe wants to deliver what you want. As long as again, it comes from like a very spiritual, pure place. And it clearly does. You have so many cards of like, divine spirituality, divine faith. Um, I mean, maybe divine partnerships too. I mean, the angel of love, right? <clears throat> yeah, something about double cancer energy. Uh, there may be a cancer in your life that you're collaborating with on some sort of, again, spiritual course, or yeah, maybe you guys are taking classes together and you maybe you meet them through some sort of work scenario, or, or, or I don't know, if some of you are literally, where's my page? going to take a class or get certified in something, you may meet another Cancer who's on a very similar spiritual path. And just to be clear, they're not your competition. You don't have to worry about that. You guys offer something to each other that, again, it, it recenters you, it keeps you balanced. They may offer you some sort of insight to, to give you either um, clarity of mind or patience, or again, something about encouraging you to watch your work-life balance. Because they may have made some mistake of, of putting all their eggs in one basket and they, they got, they burned out. They may be a, um, yeah, they may be a, a cancer Leo cusper, something like that. 
They may offer some valuable insight and compassion to you, especially if you are struggling to keep up with the workload that you've taken on. Pace yourself, Cancer. Pace yourself. Money is coming. I, I absolutely sense that. You have multiple cards indicating it, um, especially those who are working for a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn. If that person is, is controlling your income, it's something about you have skills to show off to them. So what is the final advice or guidance from my Cancer? Yeah, follow your divine purpose. <clears throat> you have justice, judgment, and death and rebirth. All right. <clears throat> Something about saying goodbye to the old you is just, it's fair. And it also has to do with, again, that idea of revisiting your childhood home. And if it's not literally that, it's going through a scrapbook. It's going through your jewelry box and finding that, that necklace that belongs to your grandmother. It's something about revisiting the past and then realizing how much time times have changed. Or how it's really how much you've grown as a person and how your perspective has changed really drastically when you weren't so focused on the details. The, uh, like Something about watching every single moment, the watched pot never boils, it's that type of energy. If you sort of release control and just, yeah, it, it, I do keep wanting to say, enjoy the process of this beautiful thing that you're building. Again, almost guaranteed it's growing. It's, it's going to... It's going to meet your expectations at absolute minimum. You will be satisfied with the results. It's something about the passing of time right before your very eyes. Some of you are, I, I don't even know how to phrase this, but doing like cosmic travel in your mind. It, it almost feels like that scene in uh, 2001 Space Odyssey at the end where it's like this drug trip type thing where you're just like being... There's like this tra uh, projection, trajection, I don't know what the word is, into the stars, and it's like light years are passing you. Astro travel, is that what that's called? Sorry guys, my camera froze. Yeah, some of you are going into like a very deep trance or like uh, transcendentalism, maybe that's the term. I, something about traveling through light years, through decades in your mind, both forward and to the past. And it's actually like this really beautiful energy forward, like very much Aquarian, like, you know, artificial intelligence, extraterrestrial type stuff. And then again, into the past. This is our card of like past soulmates or again, the passing of time, your younger self, your happy place is very much what, what I get out of that. There's something about um, the webs of time and traveling through them in your mind. And in that, there are important messages for you. If some of you are waiting to hear back from a Scorpio, be it a, a job or potentially romantic partnership, you will hear from them and the results will be just, but it may not be exactly what you are hoping for. Something about the information that is communicated to you, first of all, you already know, is what the High Priestess says. You already know the answer, even if they haven't spoke, said it to you in spoken word. Intuitively, emotionally, you feel what the truth is. Listen to that, Cancer. There's, there's value in that. And then there's something here about the Scorp... I don't know why specifically, but I do because of the death card, but Scorpio and Judgment, and this card is literally called Death and Rebirth. So something about the Scorpio comes back and the results are just. It may have to do with a court case. Maybe I don't know. Maybe your lawyer is a Scorpio. It's like you do hear back. There, You are able to put, put this to rest or, or you finally have closure or clarity on something. But the results at first shake you a little bit. Um, it's something about, it's different than you anticipated, but it's actually aligning you on the path that you were supposed to go down. And intuitively, I think you knew that, but you were waiting on the results to hear it or confirm it. And again, the results are almost nudging you about, stop worrying about the details. Stop waiting for life to, to give you the answers. If you go out and seek it and explore it, if you go out to specifically build on your knowledge and find work that... Your heart, is, your heart is invested in it. The results will come in a way that is just very gentle and very graceful and very, it will just be easy. Keep following that, that lantern, that, that north star, that northern light that is guiding you. That is what's leading you to your ultimate, your ultimate destination, your divine purpose. And again, watch your, your input and your uh, output. The, the energy you're putting in, if you're tapping an empty well, that's a sign you're not doing it right. 
the, the universe, spirits, angels, guardian angels, you know, however you want to say it, they want you to succeed in a way that is not going to drain your body. It's not going to drain your bank account. You know, take small risks. It's okay to be curious and try new things. But it's also a time to be practical, to be sensible, to be logical. Again, if you're breaking your back to do something, to achieve your, your wishes, to, to make all that money, there's nothing wrong with hard work. But again, if, if your body's out of whack, if you're not paying attention to, you know, be good to the baby inside you, right? If, if you're growing a baby, you're not going to go run a marathon, right? Be good to your body so that, yes, yeah, something about this, it, it, organically, it will all come to fruition when it's supposed to manifestation is going to be key and again along that i will say you are trapping yourself or, or clouding your judgment by waiting for someone else to show you the miracles i just heard show me the money for waiting for someone else to, to to put the coin in their hand and be like cancer would you like this it's something about going out to grab it yourself and the same goes for love and relationships you're waiting for that person to knock on your door and be like, Cancer, I love you. Will you marry me? Again, it's something about going out into the world and, and doing what you're good at. You're going to find someone and it will be easy. You won't constantly be waiting for them. Yeah, there, there's, there is a card of, wow, you have a lot of fours. Complacency and lots of waiting. What are you guys waiting for? That's, that's a huge question to me. You have the four of pentacles twice. Afraid to, afraid, afraid to show your gift to the world and also dreaming about it, thinking about how great it would be, but not taking action on it. Your message is to go out and take action on it. Even if it means losing something or someone in the process, the people in your soul tribe that are meant to be there will always find their way back. You don't need to worry about that. You don't need to be like a uh, play puppet master or be the mastermind of keeping everything very close. It's not your job, Cancer, it's not your job to be the mother of everybody on planet Earth, right? If people naturally are sort of, um, yeah, like going astray or wandering from like your, your close inner circle, let them go. If, if they are supposed to come back, they will. And then also something about protecting your energy, it's actually like doing you more damage or more harm. As we were saying, it's like by keeping this thing a secret and blocking out the rest of the world by going into isolation and throwing yourself into your work, you're actually missing out on making these really beautiful memories or, or missing out on, on spending time with the people you love. And this is almost a wake up call of, of how quickly time does pass. So make sure you, yeah, make sure you're allocating your time and your energy and your love into the right things, into the right people. The people who've been surrounding you and cheering you on, particularly your family, if you're close with your mom or your brother or your sister, something about revisiting that, it's going to make you realize you haven't been spending enough time with them and it's coming up as the help available to you. So working with your family or tossing around ideas with your family or just having them as a, a, a system of support, that's going to be very helpful to my cancers. All right, guys, that's what I got for you. Actually, let me throw you a universe card because I've done it for everyone else. Cancer, your videos are always so long. Cancer for cancer. What card wants to come out for cancer? You have the empress twice. So some of you may be thinking long-term families and, and some of you may be working mothers too. That could be posing some obstacles for you. Again, the universe is rooting for you. They want you to find just the right balance and schedule so that you can be the great mom and you can take care of your kids. Or if you're the child, so you can take care of your mother if she's older and needs help getting around. Like the universe wants to cater to what you need as long as it is not keeping you from being productive spiritually. Um, yeah, doing something you love. The universe, yeah, this is so great. The universe works fast when I'm having fun. That's what I'm saying. Time turns on like a dime. It turns in an instant when you're so involved in something that's not overly stressing you out or burdening you when you're enjoying it, when it feels easy, when you're just like blending the ingredients in the kitchen, the cups back and forth, when, when whatever you're doing, you're doing it with love. Yeah, it's fun. You're going to enjoy it and the universe wants to support you. All right, Cancer, that's what I got for you. Let me know what this unexpected income is. I'm dying to know. Uh, please do like, share, subscribe, and I will see you very soon for more tarot. Bye.